So now you are in Brazil, right? And you couldn't wait to get your CPF from abroad. You decided to fly in and you want to know all the steps to get a CPF number from here, right? No. We have made this video with Neo Shenjing explaining all the steps, but we have a little update we would like to present to you so you guys don't get lost. So don't go anywhere. We have a present for you right after this beautiful intro that our friends at Animadu, more specifically Fabio Freitas, have made for your delight. And he has a lot of me there. Don't go anywhere. Hello guys, I'm back! <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god, it's been a while, it's the first video of 2023 because the other guy is very egotistical. All the videos, no, I'll make it, I'll make it, I'll make it. Okay, so I'm gonna be on vacation. <laughs> but I missed you. Of course I needed to be back. So guys, if this is the first time you're watching this channel, my name is Brad Zuka. I work with Mark Saint to make the best of videos about this beautiful country of Brazil in English, in the comfort of the English language, of course. Of course, but if you take a look at the channel, the ones with this elegance, with this presence, is just the ones that I am in, of course. <laughs> the other guy is okay. Guys, let me tell you, make sure you subscribe to the channel, become a member of this family that grows a little every day. Yeah, we're growing a lot. We've been receiving messages from Tokyo, Japan, from Malaysia, from Iceland, from Chile. We've been receiving messages from the United States a lot. Thank you for the Americans. We love you. Yeah. Guys, it's been fantastic. We're getting famous. <laughs> Pretty soon it's going to be me and Brad Pitt presenting the show for you. <laughs> of course, it's going to be an honor for him, of course. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Guys, make sure you subscribe. Also, visit our Instagram account. We have pictures of the backstage and everything. You're going to love it. All right. And also we have a Patreon account if you want to consider supporting this channel to see us doing this full time. Of course, we're going to lo love it and enjoy your support. OK, so make sure you do this. But let's go. OK, let me tell you, this is just an update to this video we have made with Neil. So, uh, guys, those steps are still valid. However, there is a little difference. So let's go from the beginning. So you guys are in Brazil. First thing you got to do is you got to go to the post office. Go there and say, I want to pay the fee to get my CPF number. Quero pagar a taxa para o CPF de estrangeiro. So then you're going to pay seven reais. You need to present your passport. Make sure you take your passport with you at all times. And also, you need to present your birth certificate. Brad, why the birth certificate? Well, because that's where they're going to find the name of your mother. Okay, so it's very important to present the name of your mother. So you got to pay seven reais for the fee, which is equivalent to one dollar and forty cents. That's ridiculous. Very cheap. And then you're going to receive a ticket to prove that you have paid for this tax, right? Okay, Brad, do I have to go to a, a, a Receita Federal Bureau? No, you don't need to do that. From that place, you go straight to your hotel. And from the hotel, you can do everything online, all right? Because we have this paper straight from Receita Federal to guide you. Take a look. Okay, so guys, as you can see on your screen, it says the, the registration or inscrição e regularização de CPF you are either updating your CPF or you are registering, which is your case, right? So how do you do that? You're going to use this email address that you see there and you're going to send all the documents that I'm going to list to this email address. You do not need to waste your time by going to a bureau. 
It's not necessary. Don't do like Mark who took Joseph, an American guy who visited, to the bureau. Just to waste his time. What a dork. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy made the video with Neo. Can you believe it? <laughs> I think he wanted to waste the visitor's time. <laughs> He's going to hate me for that, but that's true. Okay. And you're going, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to send your complete name, your full name on the Mayo body. So you're going to write like Brad Zuka. Okay. You're going to write, okay, the CPF number you don't have because that's what you're requesting. So you're going to go for the address. The address could be the address of the hotel where you are, or preferably from a friend, right? If you have a friend who lives in Brazil, use this person's address, it's better, okay? The telephone for the, telefone para contato is the, a telephone number for them to contact. So leave from a, the one of a friend or your own, okay? And then you're going to write, you're gonna write as it, it is right there. Primeira via de CPF para estrangeiro. So it's the first issuing of a CPF to a foreigner. So primeira via de CPF para estrangeiro. Write this on the title of the email and the body of the email. So another thing that you gotta do is you gotta put, you gotta take pictures of your documents. So you take a picture of your passport, okay? Take a picture of the stamp of entry to Brazil, make sure you do that. Take a picture of the part where your picture is and all your information. And also, take a selfie of yourself holding your passport open with the information close to your face. Don't forget, this is really important, just like you see in the, in the drawing there. Hold your passport open and take a selfie for you to send to the guys. Another thing that you gotta send is the picture of the ticket that you got from the Correios when you went there to pay the seven eyes. Don't forget, it's really important. So remember, take a picture of all your documents, of your passport, uh, of the part that has your name, of the stamp when you got into Brazil, take a selfie, holding the passport open with the information where they can see you and they can see the picture and all of your name and everything. Also, take a picture of the stamp that the immigration gave you when you came into the country. And also, don't forget to send the proof that you have registered your request on the internet. You don't know how to do this? I'm going to explain right now. So take a look, because you also need to go to the internet and request from there. Take a look how to do it. So guys, for you to make your registration on the internet, it's pretty simple. Let me walk you through right now. So once you are on the website already, you just have to go here where it's written Inscrição CPF Estrangeiro or Foreign CPF uh, or CPF's Foreign uh, Registration. So you go to the part that it's written identification here where it's written name, you're right like Brad Zuka, and then Nascimento is your birthday. So your birthday should be day, month, and year in this sequence, okay? This is Brazil, remember, our format is different. So I'm going to go like the 20th of February, 1984. So now you guys know when I was born, don't forget to send me a present, okay? All right, so here... The document, of course, you're going to put the passport, okay? And here, the number of the passport, the nationality, right? So, like, if you're American, if you're French, right there, uh, choose from the list, of course. It's in Portuguese, but it's pretty easy. For example, if you are French, you just come here on Frances or França. Better, here's the country. Stupid, I was, sorry. Not the nationality. Yeah, it's written nationality, but it's the name of the country. So you go like Estados Unidos, which is the United States. Sexu is not how many times you have sex per week. Oh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> this is your gender, okay? <laughs> Some people's going to pull like three times a week. No, this is the point. 
Eu escolhi o gênero. So here, masculino or feminino, okay? And here, the name of your mother, don't forget. So it's going to be Martha Zuka. Martha! Save Martha! So here, localization. The country of your residence. In this case, it's where you live. So here you put like Estados Unidos. Let's put, because I put Estados Unidos there. I'm going to put Estados Unidos right now. So here, uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay. Estados Unidos. Okay. And then CEP stands for zip code. So your zip code, municipio is county. UF is the, the state, okay, the state where the, the county is. Logradouro is the address. So here you put, for example, uh, I don't know, Jackson Avenue, right? And then the number of Jackson Avenue. And then the complemento is the rest of the address. If you live in an apartment, for example, you just write right there. So, for example... Uh, apartment, apartment 304, all right? And then by who means neighborhood. So you write neighborhood, the neighborhood there. For example, Jacksonville. And then your email. DDI, of course, is the area code of your cell phone or your, your telephone number. And then your telephone number. And then you click NVR, which is to send. After that, uh, your registration will be done and you will receive uh, a confirmation that it's done. You just have to add this to the email, okay? <laughs> this guy is really handsome. <laughs> okay, guys, so once you have done that, make sure you attach this protocol or this proof that you have registered the request uh, with the same email. So, guys, the update of this video compared to the other one Mark made with Neil is exactly this. You have to fill in this declaração de condição fiscal or the fiscal declaration that they ask. Because here you got a claim, you got a test. So here you got to say that you don't live in Brazil and you're just getting the document, okay? So let's go. The first part is written eu, which is I, and then you put your name on the first part. Nascido em, which means born on, remember, day, month, and year in this sequence. De nacionalidade, of nationality, you can write americano, francês, alemão. So you gotta learn your nationality in Portuguese and right there. Filho de, the name of your father and then the name of your mother. Declaro, which means I stay. Para fins de atos no Cadastro Nacional de Pessoas Físicas. And the purpose of getting the CPF number under the, the penalties of the law that I live on. Que resido no endereço. So, this is the part where you put your address, guys. Your address in your home country, okay? And then it's written, e possuo condição fiscal de... And which means, and I, I have the fiscal condition of... We, the first one is written residente no Brasil, resident in Brazil. That's not you. So you're going to check the second little ball, which is non resident in Brazil. Okay, no residente no Brasil. And then I state, I still state that all the information given here are the expression of truth. And I'm, I'm aware of all the penalties under the panel code of the Brazilian law. So Guys, it's a serious thing. You're just telling the Brazilian government that you don't live in Brazil, okay? You're getting the CPF, but you don't live in Brazil. So, non-resident, the second option. And then local, you put the place, like if you're here, you're going to write Sao Paulo or Rio. And then the date, remember, day, month, year in this sequence. And then you sign and you attach this to the email. Don't forget, there is another very important detail that I need to give you. Guys, the email cannot surpass 10 megabytes. Yes, believe me. Our client, Joseph, had a lot of trouble with that because the images were too heavy. So you need to be under 10 megabytes in order for the system to accept the email. 
I don't know if it's not to overload the system, but it's 10 megabytes. So, oh my God, how am I going to reduce the quality of the pictures? Well, I recommend, I recommend that you open your WhatsApp uh, software on the computer and you send pictures to someone else or, or to yourself and then you download from the computer. So for example, send to your mother those pictures or send to your girlfriend. And then you go on the message where you sent those pictures and you click and you put download. When you download these images to your computer, they will be of a very low quality and they will be perfect for you to, to attach to the body of the email. That's exactly what Mark did with Joseph. All right, and you worked so you can do that as well. If you still have any questions about how to get a CPF, we're here to help you. Uh, this is it, this is the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you click on the like button, you subscribe to the channel and... Hello, Mark. You're interrupting my video, do you know that? All right, all right, I forgive you. As I was saying, click on the like button, guys, subscribe to the channel and make these two guys very happy. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.